All I Do Is Dream Of You is one of my favourite Demi Reynolds songs. So I was really pleased when this kept recurring in the affairs of Dobie Gillis. And this is the 1953 film directed by Don Weiss, written by Max Shulman, and of course starring Debbie Reynolds as Pansy Hammer and Bobby Van as Dobie Gillis. And this is about two young uh, university or college students, one of whom is very straight-laced and her father has instilled in her the idea that going to college is all about working and learning and not about having fun. Whereas Dobie Gillis is, and well, Dobie Gillis is all about having fun and not really that interested in learning. Although they are chalk and cheese, they strike up a relationship much to Pansy's father's distaste. And it's all about them spending time together, being young and free, but also trying to overcome various problems surrounding authority and the balance between actually having fun and not getting kicked out of college. And I will say Toby Gillis definitely leads Pansy astray, but there's something about him that's just really likeable. He may not be my kind of her, uh, my kind of human, but I just really like this character, and I thought he was really fascinating. Bobby Van obviously did a great job with him. Pansy is wonderful. Um, part of me thinks that maybe she was led astray a little too quickly. I feel like Toby Gillis didn't have to do much persuading to undo a lifetime of instilling this idea that life is about working and learning. So I think maybe that that action was a little bit unbelievable, but generally speaking I found it to be believable, delightful, really thoroughly enjoyable. Um, one of my favourite scenes is where Debbie, um, Debbie Reynolds is singing a version of All I Do Is Dream Of You. Um, it appears several times throughout in different variations um, and different pacing as well, which I love. And um, Dobie Gillis is driving and Pansy's beside him and she's singing and it's just a lovely scene and beautifully shot. It's very calm and soothing and, and really a happy scene. But of course the whole film is not all calm and delicate. There's quite a lot of high intensity in this where um, they think, you know, they're, they're, the, the game's up, they're going to get chucked out or they suddenly find a problem and um, a solution to a problem and they, they become overexcited about it. So it's a real emotional roller coaster for the characters and that makes it a really entertaining and fascinating journey. I'm not going to say that it's my favourite Debbie Reynolds film because it definitely isn't, but it's absolutely worth watching. I watched it on Amazon Prime and honestly, I really loved every second of it. It's quite an easy watch not overly complicated but I wouldn't say it's the kind of film that you can put on as background fluff at least for me personally I kind of had to focus on it I really thoroughly enjoyed it um, but if I watch it again it will just be maybe background fluff and I'll dip my focus in and out but The Affairs of Dobie Gillis um, is one of the very last Debbie Reynolds films I have to watch and definitely saved one of the best for one of the last I really thoroughly enjoyed it